My name is Brent Ewers. I am a professor at the University of Wyoming in the Department of Botany. My name is Pete Gosar, and I'm a member of the State Board of Education. My name is Jillian Balo, and I'm Wyoming State Superintendent of Public Instruction. Science standards are important because I need to know what is the base level of knowledge that a student has about science. If there's no standard, then there will be a, a wide range of variation in what a student knows about science. Maybe they don't know what the cross-cutting concepts are. Maybe they don't know the difference between a hypothesis and a theory. It's important that we set the standard for everybody in Wyoming so that it doesn't matter whether you come from Pinedale or Ethity or Cheyenne, that Sheridan and Rock Springs have a basic understanding when their kids graduate that they can move on to the university without remediation and attack those next big science hurdles. Good science standards help students become more intelligent science consumers. Great science standards take it one step further and allow our kids an opportunity to demonstrate what they know in those next steps in life. So my main expertise is in how plants control mass and energy transfers and fluxes. So there's two parts of my job as a professor. One is doing the research, but the other is teaching. If there's not a uniform standard, then it's very difficult for me to determine what kind of a science background students would have. So eventually I had to figure out what was the bare minimum standard that any student coming into my class knew. Now at Wyoming, the vast majority of our students are coming from around the state, so it's a direct reflection on the standards that Wyoming is employing. You know, I think science helps us to understand our world, and the better we have an understanding of it, the better we can learn uh, to live within it. Well, first of all, I'd like to say thank you. I know this is a, it's a long process and it's a, it requires a lot of time and a lot of work. Now part of this understanding new areas of science to me is absolutely crucial in a democracy where we need a well-educated voter. And so if you can understand some basic cross-cutting areas of science, then that allows you to vote in an informed way on some new area of science you may never have heard of. We can't anticipate what science will look like in 20 years, but if you know some of these cross-cutting concepts, you'll be able to apply those into the future. We need a standard that makes sure that students know those kinds of concepts. Be aspirational. Make these as good as you can be, um, because the people in Wyoming, I believe, want that in the end, and that we want a science that engages people, that kids go in and get their hands dirty and understand that this is interesting. It's not out of a book. It's not written on the wall, but it's science and it's happening around you. And so if we can create that type of environment, those kids will take care of science and science will take care of those kids. I encourage the Science Standards Review Committee and all of Wyoming to rise above the controversy and focus the discussion on scientific evidence that will allow our students to be more competitive from school to school, state to state, across the nation and across the world as they enter the next steps in life. Again, science is so vitally important to our present and our future, and Wyoming students deserve the very best science standards. Thank you for your work.